Okay, thank you. Um, so, the current media scape requires a deep inquiry on the use of the media, the old and new media, in many fields, and in particular in the educational realm. Tools like computer, consoles, smartphones, extended TV, MP3 readers, photo and video cameras are of common use today and give rise to many applications which can change the way we get in touch with each other, the way we can communicate, learn and teach. In our culture, the remote and mediated communication has become increasingly relevant. In order to have an idea of the extent of this process, which occurred in less than, than 200 years, a very short time in comparison to the human evolution, led things to the communication technologies which were available by mid of the uh, 19th century and to today's many opportunities, synchronous and communications like cellular and all plane telephony, IP-based communication like Skype and chats, and asynchronous communications like email, fora, blogs, social networks, and so on, which can be very inexpensive. This evolution has, has many reasons. Uh, among them, the extraordinary growth of the calculation power play the pivotal role since uh, the microprocessors are at the heart of all the devices and the tools that people use for work and leisure. This growth is not expected to stop or reduce also for the introduction of new technologies. The expert thinks that the exponential light growth of the calculation power will hold at least for a decade from now, possibly using different computing technologies, multi-core, multi-processing, clustering, and also optical technologies, which have already been demonstrated, and quantum-based technologies. But this is only one side of the evolution. The other side is a diminishing of the calculation costs. This graph, in some way specular to the previous, shows that the power calculation is becoming cheaper and cheaper, allowing the use of the microprocessors in everyday tools. Moreover, since the microprocessors' costs are continuously lowering and chips do not add significant costs to the object which can, uh, uh, they can be added to, chips, and often dozens of chips, are embedded into any common objects and tools, cars, watches, washers, toasters, phones, TV, MP3 readers, toys, photo and video camera, household application, DVD, and so on. And chips are also in artificial prosthesis or are implanted in human bodies. A population of obscure and obedient entities which entirely work in a discreet and di invisible way. A strong evolution also occurred in the image-making techniques, like photography, for instance. Before the mass diffusion of photography, only a small number of people and elite was able to create images. They had the ability, but also the power, to generate uh, images. In the 19th century, Baudelaire considered the rapid diffusion of photography as a bane, and in, and in 1859, in the Salon des 18 Saint-Canneuf, published inside the Revue Française, he stated that if photography is allowed to supplement art in some of its functions, it will soon have supplanted or corrupted it altogether, thanks to the stupidity of the multitude which is its natural ally. It is time, then, for it to return to its true duty, which is to be the servant of the sciences and arts, but the very humble servant, like printed or shortened, which have neither created nor supplemented literature. A statement which shows on one side the aristocratic ideas that Baudelaire had of art, and on the other side that he had perfectly understood that photography was an emerging mass medium. Today, after roughly uh, 150 years, everybody can easily and cheaply create images with many devices like cameras, computers, smartphones, webcams, for many needs and applications. Photography has become that brazil without walls that McLuhan defined in his most famous book. Today, people can create videos in an easy and economic way, a common task that, that only 20 years ago was very difficult and expensive to achieve, and more, people can share online their videos showing them to millions of other people. 